densely dotted on the surface of the hills on the flanks of this clear river. There are numerous caves and niches, big and small, and inside each, seated Buddhist statues of all poses and gestures. Over 1,500 years ago, the first strike on the rock here marked the advent of this earthly miracle. When night falls, myriad lights create a dreamland. The gigantic Buddha is radiant with mysterious smiles that is felt through time. This is the Longmen Grottoes, one of the world heritage sites in China. Luoyang, located in the south of Hunan province, is an ancient city with over 2,000 years history, home to 13 dynasties. In 493 AD, the Xiaowen Emperor in the North Wei dynasty decided to relocate the then capital in Luoyang, and this pious Buddhist follower ordained grottoes to be carved near the new capital. And after some searching, Longmen was finally chosen. Longmen is in the south suburb of Luoyang, with the Yi River flowing from south to north and flanked by mountains, like a natural gate. Thanks to the sturdy and resistant structure that resists erosion and weathering, Rocks here are ideal materials for sculpting. Thus, it was heralded as the beginning of massive carvings of large grottoes. After another round of massive carving during the Tang Dynasty, the Longmen Grottoes, as we know today, finally took shape. Within 1,000 meters from north to south, there were over 2,100 caves and niches over 100,000 Buddhist images and numerous inscriptions and pagodas. Longmen grottoes, along with the Mogao caves in Dunhuang and Yungang grottoes in Datong, are praised as a jewel of grotto art in China. They're the best representatives of ancient imperial grotto art. However, visitors to this site could not help but feel pity because many of the images have become missing parts like head or arms and some niches or caves are simply empty. Since the early 1900s, rampant stealing of Longman statues was sustained for years by the craze of some businessmen and scholars' desire to possess them and a generous price to that end. Luckily, the majority of grottoes and images are still kept in Longman, enabling tourists to relieve the prosperity of bygone days. This is the earliest grotto in Longman, Guyang Cave, created by the Xiaowen Emperor's ministers. In the middle of this niche, there sits Buddha Shakyamuni. Despite damage to his right side of the face, people can still distinguish his handsome and peaceful expression. Either in expression or in apparel, these Buddhist images all carry the then Chinese societal features. We know it was since the 5th century and Buddhist sculpting art were gradually localized in China. This grotto is famous for the inscription of the name of the sculptor, date and the reason for building this image. What attracts people's attention is not the content itself, but the writing style used in the inscription. It is called Wei Bei, and these characters are representative of such writing in Chinese calligraphic art. These characters show strength, elegance, and determination.
and the strokes are full of power, look as if they were carved out. This grotto is named the Lotus Cave because of a delicate lotus carved on the ceiling. In Buddhism, lotus is a symbol of purity, and this one can be said to be the finest example in relief sculpting. In the 6th century, a very pious emperor decided to have some supersized grottos created for his parents. The original plan was to carve three but even after 23 years' work involving over 800,000 person times, only two were finished. Inside the cave, there were three big statues. There are Buddha Dipankara, Buddha Shakyamam, and the Buddha Mayatraya. The Buddha in front of the niche is Buddha Shakyamuni. Different from the image in Guyang Cave, this Buddha has saintly smiles as suggested by curved up lips and slightly bent eyes, making him more like a kind of senior. Localization features are more obvious in this group of statues. However, Greek noses and ripples of the dress still suggest the inference of the Greek era. In 534 AD, North Wei Dynasty was gone. Dead silence reigned in Longman. However, after several decades, the noise of stones being carved was heard again. In year 618, the Tang Dynasty was established. In this era, there emerged the only female emperor in Chinese history, Wu Zetian. She was actually in control even when she was still the wife of the emperor. Being a very faithful Buddhist follower, Wu Zetian was very enthusiastic about Buddhist grotto carvings, and such passion was not tempered by the 500 km distance between Luoyang and the then capital of Tang Dynasty, Xi'an. To curry the female emperor's favor, a female official in the royal court and a nun jointly invested to have a grotto carved for Wu Zetian and her emperor husband. The biggest feature of this cave is rows of small statues dotted on the north and south wall. Altogether, there are over 18,000 statues. That is why it is called One Four Cave or 10,000 Buddha Cave. One Four Cave is only one example that is related to Wu Zetian. During her reign, Buddha Grotto building reached its peak. The images that are most representative of Tang Dynasty are the images of Avaloki Teshavala. Avaloki Teshavala of all gestures created during Uza Tian period reached its arctic zenith in stone carving. These images have hourglass shapes satisfying aesthetic interest of Chinese people without exceeding the boundary. This Avaloki Tashavala image stands out. Despite facial damage, her graceful figure and elegance remain vivid. Secular subjects become more common in the holy grottos. In this cave, there are figures dancing and playing musical instruments. There is said to be a form of royal dance in the Tang Dynasty. Inside this grotto, there are 29 rathas, whose status is next only to Bodhisattva in Buddhism. However, these rathas do not show detachedness, but instead they are very similar to average folks. Obviously, they are modeled after common people. In this cave, Buddha Shakyamuni it's special because his left hand has six fingers. Even today, people haven't figured out why. A 
Among all the images in Longmen Grottoes, the cliffside image in Fengxian Temple represent the highest artistic value. They are dedicated to Tang Gao Zong's father. To show her favor, Wu Zetian funded this construction with her private money. This grotto is very grand as nine huge statues are carved out of single mountain facet. All the images set off the main Buddha in the middle. The whole layout is balanced and coordinated. The main Buddha is called the Varikana Buddha, a symbol of complete virtue and the wisdom. He is 17 meters tall, his head is 4 meters round, and his ears are close to 2 meters long. Sitting in a lotus position, he is tall but not cold. Except few foes, there is no other decoration on this statue. The creator of this image focused all the attention on the face. This Buddha has very proportionate features and a full face. His smile is particularly touching, as if he were about to tell the most secret truth. His eyes looking down meet the eyes of men look up, and in his eyes people find endless sympathy and comfort. Seen from whatever angle, he makes people worn and old. This image is one of the masterpieces of Buddha images in China, and it has become a symbol of Longmen Grottoes. This grotto is radiant with a special aura under nocturnal light. The images on the two sides of the Buddha are the two disciples called Kasyapa and Ananda. It is said that Kasyapa was an ascetic monk, so he is depicted as a serious old man. In contrast, Ananda is said to be Buddha Shakyamuni's cousin and he was still a teenager when he became a monk. So his image is young and cute. Besides the two disciples, there are two bodhisattvas, Manusuri who represents wisdom and Samanta Bahacha who stands for virtues. Compared with the dignified look on Buddha, the bodhisattvas created by the craftsmen in Tang Dynasty are closer to human beings, as they spare no efforts in depicting small details, in particular on the dress. Most of the bodhisattva images are very feminine, gentle, and extravagant, like rich ladies in that dynasty. In contrast to bodhisattva, the garden kims and garden images on both sides are very masculine. However, the most beautiful flower must wither someday. After Wu Zetian's decease, the heyday of Longmen Grottoes also came to an end. Some unfinished works are also left from this period. In this grotto, only the main Buddha in the middle is finished product, and the rest of the six statues only have their torso shaped. Some images grinding work is done, some are only half finished, leaving the rough traces of rocks. However, these half finished works enable people nowadays to understand better the working procedure of mansions in the bygone era. To researchers of Chinese stone carving art, they are very precious sites. Although carving work continued in a piecemeal fashion after the decease of Wu Zetian, the momentum was no longer there without imperial participation and encouragement. A millennia has gone, 
the Varakana Buddha still looks down on the earthly lives and witnesses the vicissitudes of this world with his wise and mysterious smile.